Hello, this is Jamie Shaw. I am a senior CAD support specialist with the Illinois Department of Transportation, and today we're going to show how to import uh, alignments from a GPK file. So I have a 2D DGN. I use the i.2D DGN file. Um, you want to go to make sure you're in the Open Modeling's Open Roads Modeling Workflow. And then you want to go to the geometry tab and then go import export and hit the pull down go import geometry i have several gpks in here but the one i want is the i-97 uh, this dialog box is going to pop up so if you want just an individual alignment just pick that alignment and if you hit the plus sign next to it it's, if it has a profile associated with it too you can pick the profile as well but we're just going to import all of it but see that's where you run into problem if you don't know what's proposed what's existing um, let's just do one right now let's do uh, and check all of it we're going to do existing Illinois 97 I want to check that profile that alignment and then I want to go down and find because each each alignment or list all the profiles associated with it so I want to go down and find existing Illinois 97 right there existing Illinois 97 and you can assign a feature definition check the box and you only need to assign a linear feature um, that's existing so we're going to change the linear feature to alignments geometry existing center line you don't need to set a point feature and then you want to check the civil create civil rules so it'll create the civil rules as it imports it and then just hit import It'll go through and import it. And do zoom extends. You see, I have an alignment. If you go up to your reference attachments and turn off, it creates a 3D model as you import it. So turn off the 3D model, and then you get what it's supposed to look like. Because the curves are supposed to be blue, and the main line is supposed to be red. Or the, the straight lines are supposed to be red, and the curves are supposed to be blue. So you can tell them apart so the first thing you see is okay there's no stationing so the next thing you have to do after bringing in an alignment from a GPK is go to drawing production you want to click on element annotations and then you want to click on the alignment then right click to reset it And boom, your annotations come in. Uh, mindset to district, if you see that up there, but you guys will say, right now it'll say i.cad, I think, and as soon as we release the new workspace, it'll say consultant. So you'll have a consultant workspace and a consultant work set. Um, so this puts all your stationing curve data all that stuff for the alignment now if you want to see the profile click on the alignment come off of it hover get your context menu open profile modeler go to b4 and pick inside the window there's your existing profile So that's all I have for you today for importing alignments from the GPK file. Thank you very much.